Hey guys, it's Aurel with Local Models and I'm making this follow-up video regarding a rendering I made a few days ago uh, for Alpine at Le Mans. So the inspiration I used for uh, this rendering was the Alpine A450B uh, that finished third position in LMP2 this year, so congrats to them. Otherwise I got inspired by the Alpine A442B that won Le Mans in 1978. So both of these inspirations are very boxy, very uh, flat sides. On the more curvy side I got inspired by the Alpine A11050 uh, and quite curvy, more bio design also with the Renault Laguna from the early 90s. From package perspective uh, I took reference from Audi, uh, the Audi R18, uh, because it's LMP1, so more the same uh, rules I, as I want to follow. And as a side note, congratulations to Audi because they finished first and second place at Le Mans this year. So here's my sketch. Uh, not the best one, obviously, a little hairy, uh, but it has most of the features that I want in terms of graphic treatment and in terms of curviness of the volumes. So refining it and finalizing it uh, to the point that I can compare it to the Audi R18. And so we see that the overlap is pretty good, so quite realistic package. Then I make a selection with path. Um, I apply a mask uh, onto the folder that will contain everything else. So I don't have to worry about going outside of the limits of my um, drawing all the time and I do the same thing for the overall shape but also for subcategories so like wheels uh, like uh, interior or parts that are different contrast uh, will be in different categories then I start sculpting the volume by using masks on monochromatic layers and so that way I bring up shadows, highlights, reflections, sky tones and I do that one layer at a time to maintain the overall consistency through the car. So to get the material that you want, like you have to think how it reflects. So matte material will be very influenced by the um, the lighting around, so surrounding lighting. So uh, shadow and, and light will be defined by that, whereas a chrome will mostly be defined by reflections of the environment. So here's a gloss blue, uh, so paint job, usually glossy paint job are a little between a chrome and uh, a matte material uh, in terms of behavior. So once I get the finish that I want, I move on to the other subcategories and I just work on them in the same consistent way. So now it's time to move to the wheels. Uh, they are quite easy to illustrate because they are done from the side view and they add a lot of realism because they carry a lot of details um, so it's probably good to spend quite a bit of time on wheels in a general way and from a side view it's practical because you can just duplicate what you've done on one to the other and so you're saving time that way so on technique more specifically on the wheels I prefer using the pixel locking uh, functionality of Photoshop instead of using the masks uh, it goes faster for me, but it's really up to you to use one or the other. So regarding sponsors, I just Google them and I get the highest resolution possible. Uh, turn the logo to black and white and then I turn the layer to a screen blending mode. So the black disappears and I just keep the white part of the logo. Uh, so that's probably the fastest and easiest way to apply your logo. Alright, so that's looking good and I will remove the outline that I used from the beginning so it doesn't look that cartoonish with all the black lines. And I do a few adjustments in terms of colors, add the uh, mechanics that I just uh, took from the Audi picture I showed you earlier. And voila, the rendering is done now. I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I had working on this project. So now if you want to learn more about the masks and rendering techniques I'm using, you can click on the links in the video description. Otherwise, we hope to see you soon on the future schedule challenges on local models. It was Aurel. Have a good day. Bye.